you were taken to his house. Mm -hmm. He put you in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. The ride there, are you able to, to see his face? Are you able to get any bearings I where you are? I knew at that moment that I had to survive. Mm -hmm. I had to reach down the pit of my stomach and just go with the last survivor skill ever. Um, I told myself I was going to live. Mm. I told myself I would fight with him emotionally, not physically. Um, that night before my abduction, I had already sat down with my suicide note. I was tired of living. I had a horrific childhood. Um, and now it's time for me to fight one more time to survive. I was already a survivor. So there you were, 17, struggling with all of these emotional things yes. going on in your personal life. And now you're in this point. Yes. At this, it, I can't even, I mean, I've, I've read the story 3,000 times. And, and I have to tell you, at this juncture where you are in his home, you, as you pointed out, physically not a match for him, something within you kicks in. Yes. Where you say, I may not be stronger than him, mm -hmm. but I'm smarter. Yes. It was not, it was not my day that day to, to die. Mm -hmm. um, I had to see. You'd be surprised what you can see when you're blindfolded, what you hear, taste, smell, all those, you know, senses come into play. I was able to take, after he blindfolded me, anytime he would blindfold me, take it off, blindfold me, mm -hmm. me I would clench my jaw. Um, like if you tie a string around mm -hmm. your wrist and it's real tight and loose and you're, the string's loose, yes? I did that with my jaw. Um, what was the reason behind that? So I was able to have the blindfold loose enough to, so I could see beneath a little bit mm -hmm. to see where I was at and where he was taking me. Were you able to talk to him at this point? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. um, were you trying to ask, did you say, why me? What? what, what? Uh, there was a moment we had a conversation. I had asked him, why was he doing this to me? Um, he said due to a recent breakup, he was getting back at women in general. So I'm like, so wow. So you were the scapegoat. You were yes. a random victim that he did not know, that right. you'd never come in contact. But he claimed that a breakup mm -hmm. made him choose you. Yes. You tried reverse psychology with him? Um, skipping almost to the end of yeah. 26 hours were horrific. 26 hours? Yes, torture, held captive, bound assaulted. most of the time. It's not called assault, it's called rape. And I'm going to tell it like it is. It's called yeah. rape. It's not assault. Mm. Battery, it's battery. Mm. Um, I'm not afraid to say rape. No. I want to know I'm not a victim, but I have a voice. Mm. Um, yes. Hear me roar. Mm. Um, there was a moment he asked me what he should do with me. I don't think I was in a position to tell him off, say, you got the gun, tell me. And I played on his heartstrings, and re reverse psychology, if will be, I'll be your girlfriend. Lisa, you, you know, you learn something every day, and I will never use the word assault again when it's been a rape. You know, as a reporter, we get conditioned mm -hmm. to say assault because it's easier sometimes for people to hear, mm -hmm. and I've reported for 25 years, and I remember when it shifted mm -hmm. from using the word rape to assault. But you and your journey enlightened me to change something that I've done, and that's been a part of your voice here. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. It, it is rape, and it is hard to say, but it's what happened to you. What did you tell police that broke the case wide open? Um, through the different times the blindfold was removed and put on, uh, I was able to see the word Magnum on the dashboard. What was the word? Magnum. Magnum. Like Dodge, uh, like a Dodge Magnum. Yeah. Magnum PI. Mm -hmm. um, anything that I saw, heard, taste, smell, I would put it back in my little computer in my brain and I tried to remember it because mm -hmm. I knew it would be significant in his capture. 17 again, I'm thinking of this. He's going to get Incredible. caught because I wasn't gonna allow him to do this to anybody else. Um, also, I needed to know what area I was in. And I was very good with directions and landmark, even at the age of 17, because I ride a bicycle to work every single day. Yeah. So um, I saw two hotels, the Quality Inn and Howard Johnson. So I knew it's at Interstate 275 and Fowler. Um, he went to a bank at one time. I got to see a silhouette of him, what he looked like. Um, from the back, it was dark time, so I couldn't see his face or anything. And because you kept um, loosening that blindfold. Yeah, yes. You... I didn't even use my hands to loosen the blindfold. I was afraid to move. I would just, I was always your head... back, you know, reclined back in the seat in the car. Um, and so you could see yes, I could, his facial I could, features. I didn't, never saw his facial features through my eyes. I saw them through my hands.